The deep woods had always held an interest for me. As a kid, I'd spent hours exploring the forests in my backyard, imagining grand adventures among the trees. So, when I found an untouched forest on an old map, I couldn't resist the call. The sun was setting as I parked my car at the edge of the woods. The air was crisp, filled with the rich, earthy smell of fallen leaves and damp soil. The trees loomed tall and dark, their branches twisting together like the fingers of skeletal hands. I put on my backpack, checked my flashlight, and set off on the narrow trail. As I ventured deeper, the sounds of civilization faded away, replaced by the rustling of leaves and the occasional call of a distant bird. The forest felt alive, a living, breathing entity. The further I went, the more oppressive the atmosphere became. The air grew colder, and a thick, musty smell began to permeate the woods like decaying wood and mold. I came across an old, overgrown path, barely visible under the layers of fallen leaves. My map indicated this was the way to a long-abandoned cabin. Intrigued, I decided to follow it. The trees seemed to close in around me as I walked, their gnarled branches forming a twisted canopy that blocked out the remaining light. My skin prickled with unease, but I pressed on, determined to reach the cabin before dark. After what felt like hours, I finally saw it, a collapsing structure nestled among the trees, its wooden walls blackened with age and covered in moss. I approached cautiously, the floorboards creaking under my weight. The air inside was stale and heavy, filled with the smell of rot and neglect. I explored the small cabin, noting the remnants of a long-gone life. A rusted stove, a broken chair, and a rotting bed frame. The walls were covered in strange symbols, carved deep into the wood, their meaning lost to time. As I stood in the center of the cabin, a sudden chill ran down my spine. I felt a presence, an unseen watcher lurking in the shadows. My heart pounded in my chest and I turned on my flashlight, its beam cutting through the darkness. The cabin was empty, but the feeling of being watched persisted. I decided to leave, but as I stepped outside, the forest seemed to have changed. The path I had followed was gone, swallowed by the trees. Panic set in as I realized I was lost. The once familiar woods now felt like a maze. I tried to retrace my steps, but the forest seemed to conspire against me. The trees twisted and turned, their branches blocking my path and snagging my clothes. Hours passed, or maybe it was minutes. Time seemed to lose all meaning. Exhausted, I stumbled upon a clearing, illuminated by the pale light of the rising moon. In the center stood an ancient oak tree, its trunk gnarled and twisted, covered in the same strange symbols I had seen in the cabin. A low, whispering sound filled the air, growing louder with each passing moment. It was as if the forest itself was speaking, its voice a chorus of countless souls. I strained to understand the words, but they were just beyond my grasp, a maddening murmur that sent shivers down my spine. Desperation clawed at me, and I approached the tree, hoping to find some clue, some way out of this nightmare. As I reached out to touch the rough bark, a sudden pain shot through my hand. I looked down to see my palm bleeding, a deep cut forming the shape of one of the symbols. The whispers grew louder, more insistent, and I felt a presence behind me. I turned slowly, my flashlight trembling in my hand. Standing at the edge of the clearing was a figure, its eyes glowing with a malevolent light. Who are you? I managed to choke out. The figure said nothing, but the whispers grew louder, filling my mind with a cacophony of voices. I fell to my knees, clutching my head, the pain unbearable. The ground beneath me seemed to shift and writhe, as if the forest itself was alive and hungry. In a moment of clarity, I realized what the whispers were saying. They were calling me, beckoning me to join them. The forest wanted my soul to trap me within its twisted depths forever. I fought against the pull, using every ounce of strength I had left. Summoning the last of my courage, I staggered to my feet and ran. 
The forest closed in around me, branches clawing at my skin, roots tripping me up. Just as I thought I couldn't run any further, I burst through the tree line and into the open. I collapsed onto the ground, gasping for breath, the cold night air filling my lungs. The whispers faded, the presence retreating back into the depths of the woods. I looked back at the forest, now silent and still, its dark secrets hidden once more. The smell of the forest lingered in my nostrils, a haunting reminder of the horrors I had faced. I vowed never to return, to leave the forest behind forever. But even now, as I sit here writing this, I can still hear them, faint and distant, calling to me from the darkness.